Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimitri. So today I'm going to show you how to modify data that you already have on your tables on SQL, uh, especially data with math, mathematical functions. So in this case, if I have my fee per year, for example, I have a few values here, so 900, 1200, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of different columns that are going to have this value plus a 5% and a 10%. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my column, which is in this case uh, fee per year from my table customers. And then if I run this, I'm going to have my uh, fee per year. Now I'm going to add the two columns that I need. I need one with a 5% discount and a 10% discount. So let's just, let's suppose this is a discount. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select my fee per year again, and I'm going to modify this. So I'm going to say 5%, and if I run this again, I'm going to have a second column that is going to give me my 5% out of this fee per year. But what I really want to do is I want to subtract this 5% uh, from this fee per year. So I'm going to modify my function here. I'm going to say this fee per year times 1 minus my 5%. And I'm just gonna give it a name. So I have to type alias, and then I'm going to type 5% discount. All right, perfect. So if I run this query again, I'm going to have a second column that is going to subtract the 5% from this first column. Okay, perfect. So if I want to have another column that is going to give me the 10%, I'm going to do a similar process. So I'm going to hit comma because I want a different column. But in this case, I'm going to display a 10% and I'm going to change the heading. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to run my query and I'm going to have a different discount here. So 10%, 5%, but those two columns are based on the calculations that I have on this first column. Perfect. So I'm not modifying my table. I'm just selecting two different columns out of this column. All right, perfect. So in a similar way, you could do, um, you could add a bonus of $200 for this fee per year. So if I wanna do that, I'm just going to select my column, which is fee per year, right? And then I'm going to select that column again and I'm going to modify this and I, I want to add the two hundred dollars and then I'm going to say from my customers table so if I run this query I should be getting two columns one is going to give me the fee per year and the other one is going to give me the fee per year plus $200 of bonus. So let's just separate this and let's just give it a name. Uh, plus bonus, for example. All right, so let's just select this again. 
and I'm going to have a different heading right now you can see plus bonus and if you want to add two different bonus you're going to use the same strategy so you're going to add a different column right here comma all the columns that you want and you're going to have different values for different bonus so let's just call this the plus bonus 2 and plus 3 so I have three different uh, values so if I run this query I should be getting those extra two columns right here so let's just execute this and there you go you have two values that are actually adding different uh, values to my fee per year column all right so that's basically how you guys can modify this you could try with uh, division multiplication you could try different uh, formulas let's uh, you can enclose this for example and multiply that times 1 plus 20% so I have a longer formula right here but if I select this and I run that query it's still working you can see that here so you could basically try different uh, mathematical uh, operations okay so I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video